In this video, we're going to look at the differences between words, half words, and bytes inside of RISC-V. The first thing you should take note of is which implementation of RISC-V you are using. Is it the 32-bit, 64-bit, or 128-bit? In this video, we'll be focusing on the 32-bit implementation of RISC-V. Just know that the concepts apply to the 64 and the 128-bit as well. In RISC-V, data is stored and processed in units called words. And in the 32-bit version of RISC-V, each word is 32 bits, or 32 zeros or ones. So here we have our 32-bit register, and this would be equal to one word or 32 bits. Now how many bytes does one word represent? Well remember that one byte is equal to 8 bits. If we have 32 bits we just divide 32 by 8 and that will tell us that it is a total of 4 bytes. Often in addition to seeing it written out in the bits. You might see it written out in the byte version in hexadecimal, which would be four bytes, which would be zero, zero. This is one byte, two bytes, three bytes, and four bytes. I want to make some room real quick so I can write these values out. So we can see that in RISC-V, a full word is going to be the size of the register. In our 32-bit implementation, it would be 32 bits, or 4 bytes. In the 64-bit implementation, it would be a word would be 64 bits, or 8 bytes. Now with a half word, how do you think we would find the size of a half word. Well it's just a half of all 32 bits so it's just 16 bits or 2 bytes. Now what about a byte? Well it would be half of a half word so it would be 8 bits and we actually knew that from earlier. It still applies. Now what would you use each of these values for? Now in RISC-V the type of data that you want to store is going to determine which instruction size you're going to be using. If you have an integer generally it's going to be a 32-bit integer and you're going to use a word. Now half word, 16 bits, it's not as common, but you could use it for something like Unicode or something that requires 16 bits or 2 bytes of memory to store. And a byte we would use for characters. For example, something in a string. Now, not a string, but characters that make up a string. Because in ASCII, it only takes seven bits to represent a character. Now, 
Now let's take a look at an example. This is taken from an online Risk V interpreter, and I'll leave a link to it in the description if you'd like to check it out. Here we're given the binary and the hexadecimal representation, as well as the decimal and the name of the register and its value. This is just the zero register, but it still allows me to show you the concept. So this interpreter is using a 32-bit implementation of RISC-V, which is probably the most common. And in binary, we can see that we are given all 32 bits of the word. And in hexadecimal, we are given all four bytes of the word. So here we would have one word. So here we would have one byte, our second byte. So here we would have our first byte, second byte, third byte, and then our fourth byte. And again, a half word would simply be this portion and a byte would be this portion. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any ideas or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.